I have never used Scratch before. So I made a game in it for the first time and this is how it went. Initially, I was thinking of a game idea that wouldn't take too long to make, but also had some kind of replayability factor and also something where I could experiment with the art in Scratch. A friend introduced me to the old Morhoon games slash crazy chicken games. I'm not actually old enough to have played them. In these games, you're timed and you get points by shooting down the chickens. You get more for chickens that are further away and less for closer chickens. I love this idea so I put my own twist on it and set it in space and the idea would be shooting down the passing comets with your laser gun. So first I created the backdrop for my scene. I wanted to keep everything done in Scratch so I utilised Scratch's drawing feature for this. The tools are simple but you can get really nice effects with it. You can switch between vector mode and bitmap mode so you can either go for pixel art or clean cut lines and the advantage of vectors is that you can scale it up or down and it won't pixelate. I went with a vector look because I've never really used vectors and it was actually really easy and fun to do. I started out with a dark purple background and I started mapping out where I wanted the planets to be. Later I realised that I wanted to animate these planets to create more atmosphere so I separated them out into separate sprites. It was really fun shaping things with the essentially pen tool, it's the same thing as you have in Photoshop and Illustrator. I'm usually used to drawing my art freehand so it was a nice change from that. I then snapped a few blocks together and animated my main planet as rotating and the other planet to bob up and down. I then drew some laser bullets that would show up on the screen and go down every time you shoot. And for the logic I just created a variable called bullets left and every time there was a mouse click a bullet would get used up and this affected how many bullets would appear on your screen. I also include a reload feature on space so when you press space you have all your bullets reloaded. Once that was working I worked on a simple crosshair and bound that to the mouse position and then I started drawing the comet. I animated the comet to rotate in the middle of the fireball but then later I added effects with scratch to change the colour and the brightness so they kind of look like flashing comets across the sky. So I made a spawner where they would spawn different sizes, different colours and come across the screen for you to shoot. This is all so simple to do with the little if blocks and conditional statements that you can use and although I haven't used Scratch much you can definitely make something really complex with these simple blocks if you're clever enough about it. Then I made the game end with a timer variable so when it hit zero it would change scene to the game end screen. I also created a score variable to keep score and even a high score system which I think works which will store your score if it's higher than the high score variable. I made a simple main menu just using the fonts that are already given in Scratch. There is ways to implement your own custom fonts but I didn't get time for this project. I made the button so that it would change colour when you hover over it and also change size a little bit. And at one point I did have to rejig all my code to start with the game scene changing rather than the green flag being clicked. The final thing I added was sound so I got some space ambient sound from the Scratch library and also uploaded some of my own sounds but now it's time for the final result. So this is the final game. I'm really happy with how it turned out for my first ever project in Scratch. I definitely could have polished it more and I'm sure I repeated sections of my code so I could have tidied that up as well. I have included a link to it below if you want to go try it out. And if you're really wanting to start game dev, I would really recommend Scratch to just kind of play about with and see what you can come up with because the core of game development is problem solving and Scratch just presents it in a friendlier way. If you like this, and you want to see more project videos, check out this playlist.